All right, guys, so I, uh, I just decided to take a minute and have a little fun with Rizzo. Love this dog so much, but sorry about the voiceover, but it's so windy out that uh, you wouldn't really be able to hear anything. So I figured I'd just explain a little bit what I'm doing here, and in reality, all I'm doing is having a good time with a really cool dog. Okay, so this wasn't planned or anything. I just took a couple of minutes, I think probably three or four minutes, and we just enjoyed each other. You notice there's no food, there's no toys, there's no e-collar, there's no prong collar. We're just having a good time. And I'm just using basic obedience as part of the fun, right? So I just want him enjoying the act of doing these things with me. Because in the end, it's not about rewards. It's not about toys and food and punishment and bribery. It's about doing something together as a team and loving every minute of it. And that's what this beautiful dog is giving me. So in this video, every time I release him, I just want you to understand that I'm never using the reward marker here. So not one time do I say yes to release him because the reward marker, although it is an active release, also means there's a reward coming. Here is your food, here is your toy, here is a bite, whatever it is, whatever the dog loves. Yes announces that there's a reward coming to you. Instead here, I release him with a free dog, meaning he is just free to do whatever he wants. And very often you'll see what he chooses to do is to just engage and play with me and have a good time. I don't know if you can see the look on his face, but he's so fired up and tuned in and loving this almost as much as I am. You know, little things, little things that sometimes we don't pay attention to. You see, I, I'll, I'll get him fired up and then I ask him for a down or I get him fired up and then I'll ask him to place and then I calm him down or I call him to me while he's fired up and drop him into a down two or three times and then on the fourth time he anticipates and he's about to drop to a down again so instead of telling him to down I'll tell him to place so instead of him anticipating what's coming next he has to learn to pay attention to what I'm saying really little tiny simple things like this really help the dog learn and enjoy the process and they don't get bored you know and so I just enjoy him very much I do and don't get me wrong we still use food at times we still use a ball on a rope at times because he loves it we play with different toys um, we still work on just the basics I still put a long line a 50 foot line on him and take him out and just practice recalls around real world distractions but in the long run, it's all about enjoying each other and the act of doing these things becomes the reward itself.